of a high screen by Dallas. Lob it, alley-oop, and a slam by Big D. Oh, that's a way to knock the lid off the bucket right there. What a play on the assist by McKinley Wright, and it's 7-2 Cal as the Buffs pull within five. Well, that was a big play early for the Colorado Buffaloes. The alley-oop from McKinley Wright to Dallas Walton. That finally got the Buffs on the board scoring. They trailed 7-2 at that point in time. Eventually found some traction, although it was not an aesthetically pleasing game. They were up by four at the half. Had a nice run in the second half, went up by double digits, Cal made a run, but the Buffaloes hold on, survive in advance, that's what March is all about. They went 61-58 and knock off the Cal Golden Bears in the quarterfinals of the Pac-12 Conference Tournament. Hey Buff Nation, voice of the boss Mark Johnson, thought we'd give you a little insights into a day in the life of the Buffaloes in Las Vegas, and of course they become accustomed to it during this COVID period. Every single game day, and yesterday was no exception, starts out for student athletes with getting tested and grabbing breakfast. We bring the fight, fight. Anytime we need it. Squad on my left, left, squad on my right. We side by side, ready to ignite. That's what it is, that's what it's gonna be. With the realest, we shake all the wannabes. Circles stay small these days. The same ones who smile in your face. Really wanna take your place. Hey, 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 hey. We move as a unit. That's how we do it. Together getting to it as a unit. We move as a unit. That's how we do it as a unit. So the Buffaloes get tested, they get breakfast to wait on the test results. Obviously, everything came back negative, which was a good thing for the Buffaloes because they got to play the game. Now, on a normal day, at some point about midday, when you're on the road in a tournament setting, the team would make its way over to T-Mobile Arena for a shoot-around to get ready for the ball game that night. Well, because of protocols, that's not the set of circumstances they're dealing with in Las Vegas. And so what happened, everyone's getting creative, right? So the Pac-12 set up a makeshift court in a theater there at the Park MGM, and that's where the Buffaloes did their pregame shoot around. Great energy tonight, 40 minutes. Bench has gotta be ready, everybody be ready. We're a deep team, and we're built for these kind of tournaments. We have gotta take care of business tonight. Every possession matters, every possession. What what happened the last time we played these guys, guys, they scored like 11 points in the last two and a half minutes in the first half. Because we didn't guard. We're up four. We go, we go down, you know, down three at half. Because we just didn't, we didn't value every possession, whether it's on offense or defense. We gotta do that tonight. We're a lot better than we were when, when we were playing three weeks ago in Berkeley. But we gotta go prove it. We dialed in. Family on three. One, two, three. Down. So after the shoot around, the Buffaloes went back to the room, and then four hours out, that's where the Buffs always do it, from tip off, they have their pregame meal, get their last little scouting report details. They took care of that. But when they're not doing official business with the team, everybody is relegated to the room. So they hung out there until it was finally time for the last game of the night in the second round of the Pac 12 Conference Tournament to make their way over to T Mobile Arena. We got a lot to play for, got no problem. We just go let it all hang out and do what we do. Play Colorado basketball, we'll be just fine. Let's go. We build and destroy. We strike and deploy. We build and destroy. We strike and deploy. You can't take my pain away. We build and destroy. I do it the hard way. We strike in the floor. Hey yo, I seen brighter days. We build and destroy. I go crazy on your boy. We strike in the floor. Disrespect me. You're about to take a loss. Interrupt me. You're about to meet your boy. Don't go across me. You should have taken a loss. I'm on the throne now. And I ain't never coming on. Let's go, Greg. Let's go. Everybody be ready. Hey man, best time of the year. Let's have fun. Cherish yep. this moment. And handle business. Do what we came here to do. Yes, sir. Let's go. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Let's go. 
So the Buffs were getting themselves warmed up, but they had to wait a little bit to finally get on the court in that final game of the quarterfinals to take on the Cal Golden Bears. The preceding game, USC and Utah went to double overtime. USC won. That's who the Buffs are going to take on tonight in the semifinals. But finally, Colorado got in the court, and even though it was an awful slow start and they never really found the rhythm offensively, the Buffs held on for a nail-bonding win in the quarterfinals over the Golden Bears. Off a high screen by Dallas. Lob it, alley oop, and a slam by Big D. Oh, that's the way to knock the lid off the bucket right there. What a play on the assist by McKinley. Right. Jump stop, plays it in the paint, taken by Evan Batty. Spins against Cali, leans in up the window, and the bucket's up and good. And the Bucs have scored two in a row. It's up court, lob it ahead, taken to the high post. Evan Batty squares up, backs his way down against Antisovich. Hooks up with the left hand, is off the window, and it's up and good. Pass to the right side, Maddox. Up top, Jariah, head fake, defender goes by and he fires at the buzzer. Bounces off to McKinley in traffic, pulls up from 14. Oh, and the iron is kind, and we're tied as McKinley knocks that one down. Parquet, here come the Buffaloes, chuck it ahead. Jabari on his way to the hoop, layup with the right hand, count it, whistle, and a foul against Teeman. And that'll send Jabari Walker to the foul line as we're tied at 16. Yes, he does, Dallas top of the key. Sets up for three, fires a three right between the eyes from downtown. Dallas has got a right elbow, squares up, caught on one top by four, pulls up from 17, nothing but nylon for the big fella. And Dallas is having a nice first half. He has now got nine points, and the Buffs are on top by six. Brings it outside the arc, drives his way by Kelly on his way to the hoop, reverse layup, diagonal down the lane, is up and good by Eli Parquet. He's got four in his second half, and the Buffaloes McKinley up a pick, drives down the paint, throws it high up the window, shot will go. Rebound Evan Batty, his put back is up and good. Up court, Batty takes the feed, shovels inside, and Jariah Horn with the layup off the break. The key Schwartz squares up, give the McKinley up a curl screen to the paint. Scoop shot with the right hand that time as he stepped through. That was a clever little shot. McKinley's got six. Back hand leg plays out top. Jabari Walker pulls up for three. Right between the eyes from downtown. Jabari Walker's got six. He's shooting over 50% from outside the arc. And this bitch on him, high on the right side pass, Schwartz for three, right between the eyes from downtown. Up the right side in the corner, pulling up, Eli for three, shot will go, rebound offense, Jabari Walker, his putback is up and in. Oh, Jabari with the offensive board, and the putback and the bumps are on top. Right line. elbow, bounce passing inside of the roll, and a batty, the catch, the better goes by, lay it off the window, counter whistle, and a foul, and a potential three-point play for Evan Batty. Kelly up court, drives his way to paint, spins around Kwani on his way to the hoop. Blocked hand and layup is up and good. How about the pirouette that time by the point guard? Bounces on the right block, Schwartz with Matt Bradley on his back. Backs his way down, spins, goes up strong. Left hand, count it, whistle and a foul. A strong physical move that time by Deshaun Schwartz. Close by the defender, left side, step back, play clock at two from the foul line. Fading 15-foot jumper is up and good by McKinley Wright. He's got 10, bumps on top by 758-51 with 215 to play. There's an old adage in college basketball in the postseason, whether it be a conference tournament or the NCAA tournament, you survive and advance. And there's no such thing, by the way, as an ugly victory. It wasn't great. It wasn't aesthetically pleasing, but it was a W, and that's all you look for in a tournament setting. The Buffaloes get that 61-58 victory over the Cal Golden Bears, and afterward, we heard from head coach Tad Boyle in the locker room. <laughs> But we didn't play our best basketball. I thought we guarded our tails off, but we got to play smarter, okay? We have to play smarter basketball. We did what we had to do in, in March. You survive and advance. We survived tonight, okay? We didn't play our best basketball, and we're going to tomorrow. I'm proud of you for doing what you had to do to win the game. All right, but we all know we're better than what we showed tonight. Family on three, one, two, three, family. There's the head coach after the Buffalo's quarterfinal victory over the Cal Golden Bears. Tad Boyle has said in his 11 years at CU, his program is based on rebounding and defense. And those two staples won that ball game. And by the way, how about Eli Parquet's job on Matt Bradley, holding one of the top scorers in the Pac-12 to only 10 points, zero points in the first half. 
Buffs get the victory. Step one is down. Now on to step two. Tonight, it's the USC Trojans. The Buffalo swept the Trojans in their two regular season games this season. It's another late one. Let's hope it's not getting underway at 1030. It's supposed to start about 935 to 940, somewhere in that area. The Buffs will take on USC. By the way, our coverage in the Colorado Basketball Network in Denver on KOA News Radio, 850 AM and 94.1 FM gets underway at 9 o'clock with the uh, Buffs warm-up pregame show presented by Safeway. You can check us out on the Buffs View app at cubuffs.com slash Buffs View. XM Channel 197, the TuneIn app at cubuffs.com. We're all over the place. Join us tonight as Colorado looks to move on to the championship of the Pac-12 tournament, but they've got to get by the number two seed, USC Trojans. I'm voice of the Buffs, Mark Johnson. Thanks for joining us as we give you a look inside a day in the life of the Buffaloes in Las Vegas. Thank <laughs> you.